Namaste. Hi. This simple breathing pattern in the practice of Bakasana and other unbalances may help you refine your technique. And when you combine this with the many lessons you learn from other teachers, especially physical alignment and the drills for developing strength and flexibility, your practice becomes more meaningful. All right, so from the scalp position, this one. So feel the breath. Yeah. So when you inspire the breath in, it has the sensation of rising. Yeah, our energy is rising. So that's Udiyana Bandha when we practice during the inhalation. It makes the body light. And that's why Udiyana Bandha is also known as the flying up block. Yeah. So when you exhale, can you feel this outer body become soft, like the joints loosen, but the inner body goes hollow and deep? Udiyana Bandha on the exhalation. What it does, the muscles hug the spine without contracting, without squeezing. That's the organic brace. Yeah. So when you utilize that awareness of the breath and then know when to apply them, yeah, it shall make your practice lighter. All right, so from here, breathing in. And then you're going to press yeah, at the top of the breath where you're the lightest. And by the way, all arm balances are forward bends. Yeah, it's a flexion, starts there. So in a flexion, yeah, aside from the breath being rising, the body shifts forward. Inhale. Good. And then you won't miss it. That uh, point where you feel the lightest, yeah, you're going to utilize that with perfect coordination, timing, and unison movement. And you don't want to be holding too long, otherwise your body will feel rigid and you will feel it heavy. You don't want to be doing it too fast too soon because your body is so light, you might topple over. So just that point. It will take um, a few tries and before you get yeah, your, I say, personal um, point yeah, because everyone's breathing is different. Yeah? So if you're a long breather, you might shift a little bit more forward. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So from here, exhale. Yeah, breathing in at the top where you're the lightest. Your body will just lift off the ground because you're shifting and then just exhale out. And while you're holding the position, breathing normally, yeah, but control it so you don't bounce it. Good. And then relax the neck. Good. And to release, it's the same as the entry. You just reverse it, inhaling. Make it light. Yeah, toes down and exhale to complete the exit. Good. So in summary, inhale, up and forward, press, and then you will just hang loose and then up, exhale, and then hold the position, enjoy it, and breathing normally, but of course control it, and then to release, yeah, inhalation, come back, and exhale, feet on the ground. All right, so more than that, um, what I want to share with you is what happens when we breathe. So why does it feel so light yeah, during the inhalation? And does this need to yeah, perform a light kumbhaka or a gentle retention? Because you're catching the buoyancy. Yeah. So like you wanna yeah, utilize yeah, that instance, that opportunity yeah, to keep your body light and press. All right, so you're gonna feel heavy, definitely, because you are exerting uh, effort and uh, energy. So when the body feels heavy and the breath you know, becomes, I say, uh, heavy or strained, so it means yeah, that your nadis inside, yeah, the energetic channels, which are so capable of absorbing the energy, yeah, the energy makes you light. It's not actually the gaseous air. It's the energy you're contained within the breath that makes you light. And as you hold the position, you're actually spending or utilizing that buffer of energy. Therefore, yeah, the breath becomes heavy. So that's an indication that yeah, you need to release the position already. Yeah, so the breath, yeah, the nadis, yeah, as long as they are capable of retaining yeah, and storing that buffer of energy, yeah, you are able to hold a certain element longer too. Not just in the asana, pranayama, yeah, breathing exercises, or even during meditation, 
where you want to control the flow of the breath, yeah, so you can go beyond, yeah, the autonomic eye say, sensations, so you can feel the subtleness of your energy. Good. Thank you, and try that, yeah? I'm pretty sure it will make your practice lighter, meaningful, and enjoyable. Stay safe. See you in the next session. Namaste.